So, if we didn't have states the way we understand them today, what did we have? What were those patches? How was politics organized right, at that point? For example, back in the um, times of the uh, Babylonian uh, quote-unquote empire, or uh, Roman empire even. Right? How, what, what did it mean? Right? Well, it didn't, in any case, it did not mean this. That you had a very nice little, little territory which was run by here and nicely controlled throughout and everybody was a citizen and carried the car. That's, these are all recent inventions. There was no such thing. There was no such uh, universal car card. There was no such universal control of territory. So what did you have? Well, what you had were centers of power. Here is where, no, no matter what he or she called him or herself, right? Emperor, ruler, Caesar, whatever, lived in a capital. And the capital was the center of, to use that concept we have discussed before, of order. Of order. So basically, this was a center which, depending on how powerful it was, it could project its structure of order over a territory. And that was, you know, fluctuated because it wasn't that, oh, he nicely, nicely, you know, had a postal service and then uh, gas works and, you know, uh, irrigation and this and that and, and um, transportation and railroads and highways and uh, state police and border patrol and everything that will become then the modern state. No. Simply put, it meant that this is how far it, again, could project its power mostly through the military. Now, why would it project its power? Right? And, you know, the, the ruler had to actually go physically right, with the army. Right? Why could it project its power? Uh, what did it mean? Why would he do that or he should do that? In order to you know, extract